father committed suicide when he was just 34 years old. A massive brain injury affected his personality. And when I was five, he tried to end my life. I survived, but he was taken off to a psych hospital where he escaped one night, walked to the river's edge and drowned himself. He went in knowing he would never come back. He took his own life that night and for years, I knew that I was the reason why. Three months after I interviewed Rich Mullins is when I finally fell apart on live television. My glass house came crashing down around me. And as far as I could see, life was over. I left the set that day and drove to Virginia Beach. I stepped out of my car. I walked up to the edge of the ocean and I walked until the waves were hip deep. Keep walking. A silent voice urged me, just keep going, Sheila. The waves will cover your head and the sea will swallow you up and you can finally be done with all the pain. I stood there with the waves crashing against me and I thought about my mom. I couldn't do this to her. I couldn't go through with my plan. I mean, I couldn't have her get a phone call to say someone else you love has disappeared under the water. So instead I drove to the psych unit. I'll never forget in the parking lot of the Northern Virginia Doctors' Hospital. I sat and wept as I checked myself in. It felt like the end, and in many ways it was. It was the end of trying to be good enough for God, of trying to hide my brokenness. I was to discover that sometimes God will take you to a prison to set you free. This brokenness that you and I both feel, at its core, it's a spiritual pain. There's a dark evil hoping that we'll fall and never get back up again. But the darkness will never have the final word. Triumphant over our darkness and struggles is Christ's magnificent light. And you and I take baby steps toward that glorious brightness each time we come to God and offer Him the broken pieces of our lives.